Hi there, this is Danny, and the channel is You and Me Living Free. I'm just getting my first glimpse of my hair today. Not too bad, except for a little, <laughs> couple little par problematic parts, but other than that, not, 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 <laughs> other than that, not too bad. Okay, I'm giggly. I am back in Quartzsite. And it, it's funny, Quartzsite has become like this comforting kind of place, almost like a second home, just because one of the problems, one of the challenges, one of the things that takes a lot of my energy in this nomad existence and this traveling and constant yearn for adventure that I have is that sometimes the stress of looking for a new place to sleep at night, of doing everything in the unknown, like you're you're going somewhere new somewhere cool it might be a national park it might be a destination or something right and that's awesome and you're excited about that but it's somewhere you've probably never been for me and then to put on top of that you don't really know where you're sleeping that night and you're gonna have to find it and you're gonna have to make sure it's okay and that you're comfortable there and everything and it's just a lot of work. And so since I've stayed in Quartzsite a couple of times now, and there is so much BLM land here, and there's so much open and empty space now that a lot of people have gone, now that RTR is over, the Big Tent, I think the Big Tent show is over. Although I drove by and there's still a bunch of um, RVs and stuff there. I don't know. It may go on all month. I'm going to have to check it out. Anyway, anyway, uh, what do you do? What? <laughs> I'm just starting this video and I already lost my train of thought. Okay, what do I do? Because I want to come back to Quartzsite for, Quartzsite for the comfort factor. Also, I know where to get water. I know where to get food. I know where to dump my trash. I know where to do everything. There's something comforting about that. And it is wide open and sunny. But today is, oh, there's a wind advisory today. Now, Back in Kansas City, my kids are dealing with a snowstorm and they're gonna get six to 12 inches of snow. It started last night. It's supposed to go all through today, right? In the desert, we don't have, I don't have any of that to worry about, but uh, there's a wind advisory. And so the wind is really blowing. And what that means in the desert is it means it's gonna blow sand around, right? It's gonna blow dust particles around. And so as I look at the mountains like I normally do, some of them over here I can't even see. I'll show you this in a minute. And then some in front of me are very obscured. There's a lot of, um, like it looks like haze in between, but I just know it's just the particles of, of, of dirt and that fine dust uh, that's just being blown around everywhere. So not really anxious to go out for a walk, even though I'm supposed to be walking every day. I'm supposed to be more consistent. So then the question is, what do you do on a super windy day? Now, I have a bunch of videos to edit. I'm behind on my editing videos for YouTube. I could sit here and do that all day. I've done it all morning. I got two videos um, edited, which is great. But I could be content to sit in the van and have like a van day and do work and be engaged and be and be just fine. But here's the deal. If I did that all day, then by tonight, when it's time to wind down and go to sleep, my body's like, you didn't do anything today. There's no way we're going to let you sleep. <laughs> Honestly, so... I have to get up and do something or I know I'm going to pay for it later. So maybe we'll go run a couple of errands. Maybe I'll take you along. I'm going to do a quick 180 of where I am so you can kind of get the feel. But it's going to be a lot of wind noise, so I'm not going to try to talk over it. I'll just give you a little 180 or 360 of where I am and give you some idea how it feels right now. How these mountains, those mountains that were just right back there are really kind of like the only ones you can see. Normally there are mountains on almost every side, but they are obscured through the haze. Well, here's what my hair looks like now after 30 seconds of the wind. <laughs> Let's go into town. The, uh, the garbage pickup is going to close in a little while, so we need to dump off some trash. I could grab some water, just really trying to get out of the house, so to speak. <laughs> uh, let's do this. 
Well, it's windy, all right. Oof. Yep, this is the refuse transfer area. You just drive right up, you throw your bags in, and that's that. Well, that was easy as pie and no line or anything. That's another reason I love staying at Plumosa Road. As you're head down to Quartzsite, it is only literally five or six miles north of town, but the dump station is on your way. So it just makes it so convenient. I don't even have to go out of my way for that. Um, I'll stop by and see if the water, the pit stop where you get water, is crowded or not and we'll see maybe stop by in there and I could use two or three gallons of water I usually carry about eight gallons or so with me so being maybe three three and a half gallons down um, is a perfect point to fill up because just like gas in my tank I don't let like to let the water go down if I don't need there's a really no need really no reason to let it get all the way down I just keep refilling at a reasonable at reasonable interview intervals and talk today this place looks empty. Looks like the wind advisory is keeping people home. Either that or, yeah. Looks like the wind advisory is keeping people at home, um, safe in their RVs, and there is no one here getting water. This hasn't happened since I came to town. Woohoo! Well, with this bit of luck at the pit stop, now I'm wondering if maybe the laundromat will be not crowded today. Fingers crossed. Um, I hate the laundromat. I don't like to use the word hate, but going to the laundromat is not one of my favorite things at all. And it can be bearable if the laundromat has plugins for your computers and good good um, Wi-Fi. A lot of library or a lot of libraries, a lot of laundromats do, and I love that. I don't mind doing doing things in there, um, in places like that, but. Uh, the one in Quartzsite has no Wi-Fi, like any place does. No place in Quartzsite almost has Wi-Fi. And also, um, it's it's always packed. The Every time I've been there, it's been packed. But again, now RTR is over. The big tent, its initial week is over. Maybe I'll have better luck. Fingers crossed. You know what? The laundromat does look a little less crowded than usual. The parking lot is only a little over half full. But... I just don't think I'm in the mood to do laundry. Like I said, it's not one of those things I enjoy. And if I'm already a little like irritable or not wanting to do it, then it just, sometimes it just puts me in a really bad mood. So I'm gonna skip it for now. But what do I wanna do? I think I'm gonna go to, maybe to Dollar General. See if there's anything on my list I need. Again, I'm just kinda kicking around killing time. Maybe I'll go get some lunch at Quartzsite Yacht Club or somewhere. So we're gonna just go in and sit and have a sandwich. And like I say, get out of the house for a bit. I'm at the parking lot for Dollar General. I found a couple things I needed and I can always use ice. That's the thing about having a cooler. I'm always buying ice. But if I look at having a fridge and what it would cost to upgrade the Jackery and do all that stuff I would need to do to power it, then I'm kind of like, okay, Danny, you know, maybe next year if you're still on the road, we can talk about a fridge, but for now it's ice all the time. Anyway, uh, it's just after two o'clock. I was thinking Bob was gonna give away the van at two o'clock today, so I needed to tune in, but uh, it's not till three o'clock, so where I am now. So I know you won't be seeing this until after the fact. You'll already know I won the van. I hope. We'll see who wins it. We'll watch it together. Anyway, um, that's it. I may get some food and I may just head back to my campground. We'll see. Let's just see what happens. Is this suspense killing you? I didn't think so. <laughs> the good news is lunch at the Quartzsite Yacht Club was good. It wasn't great, but it was good. <laughs> the beer I had was really good. Um, sat there until it was time for Bob's drawing and I didn't win the van. I, it was so funny because when they were about to say the name, I was just hearing my name. I was hearing them say my name and I kept hearing them say my name. 
and then I think the person is Deanne and I was like oh close but it's not me I was actually a little surprised when they didn't say my name <laughs> I guess I did my visualization and everything really good um, but I know there were a lot of people who wanted it really badly and I'm just hoping somebody who I'm sure the right person won it whoever really needs it this is really going to be the best thing for them and and it all is working out perfectly so I'll just tell myself that as I as I tend to my broken heart and I um, think I'm just gonna head back to my campground and kind of cocoon a little bit and maybe call it a day <laughs> so unless something really exciting happens I'm gonna close out this video now and I'll catch you next time thanks for being here and um, I'm sending you a ton of love I hope you feel it bye for now Well, I am cocooning as the wind continues to blow and I think I'm going to edit a couple more YouTube videos because I think tomorrow I'll go to Starbucks and download them. So I did a couple this morning. Hopefully I can get a couple more done and then tomorrow I'll go have a day at Starbucks where I'm using their internet getting a nice venti iced black tea and maybe some lemon loaf. Um, depending on how long I stay there and soak up their internet. I just thought I'd throw this on the end. This is about the most exciting thing. And then I'm just gonna relax and I have like three books that I'm reading right now and <laughs> one, two of them are on Audible and one is on my Kindle. And I but I've been reading a ton lately because of these early nights, right? The sun goes down and what are you gonna do? And I, I hardly ever watch TV, but I did download a couple things to my Kindle uh, that I've watched. So maybe I'll watch, be able to watch a little TV tonight. I don't know. I'll probably end up just editing um, YouTube videos and then maybe doing a little reading and heading to bed, but that's a few hours away. So anyway. That's it. Pretty exciting stuff. <laughs> Pretty exciting stuff. <laughs> Aren't you glad you stuck around? I don't know if I want to know that answer or not. Anyway, see you next time.